Let's move on straight away into test for hydrogen chloride gas. Let's look at what it is. Test for hydrogen chloride gas. How will you test for hydrogen chloride gas? Get a filter paper, soak it with ammonia. <laughs> ammonia solution. Place it in the mouth of the test tube containing the gas that you don't know. What will you see? You get to see a dense white film of ammonium chloride that shows the presence of hydrogen chloride gas. You can do this experiment in collaboration with your teacher in your chemistry lab. Let us go on. Test for hydrogen chloride gas again. You can see from here that put a glass rod, dip it into AgNO3 solution, into the test tube containing the gas. Just get a glass rod, put it inside AgNO3, now take the rod, put it inside the unknown solution. There will be a white precipitate of silver chloride which is going to be formed. Now you know that hydrogen chloride gas is present. Look at it. The reaction of HBr and Hi with AgNO3 is similar to that of ACL. It's very, very much similar to that of ACL. So you put that on your mind and you learn it again. Now let's look at it. Test for chloride ion. Chloride ion could be gotten when you get a salt of sodium chloride and you add concentrated hydrogen sulfide followed by manganese oxide, the powder of manganese oxide and you heat it. There will be a bathysis of a greenish yellow gas which turns blue little more red then it darkens it. Now that shows that chloride ion is present. Look at it. Now, after you have performed the first experiment as above, the starch iodide paper is also added to it. You see a blue-black coloration. That confirms the presence of chloride ion. So chloride ion has been tested, and you can go through it again, put it down in your notes, and read it over and over. Then you get to see that chemistry is 